Oh, my mother get very worried. You know, my mother will tell me, oh, you should, you should do this, you should do that. I monitor myself, I temperature, the cough, and all those things. I'm, I'm barely aware of it, heighten the awareness. But my job required me to do the necessary, to, to, to solve the problem on the ground, rather than go hiding. Sometimes uh, uh, for us, right, we, we take the initial precaution, but we also want to go down to reassure the frontliners uh, that we understand that you put your life at risk. And we want to be there to show the support. Because sometimes if you don't go down, uh, they may have issues that they cannot solve. And then when they need us to go down to approve on the spot, so the whole thing it runs very smoothly. During this quiet period, we do a lot of work that the public didn't know. We increase the facilities to testing. We also continuously looking for quarantine rooms and quarantine centers because we don't want to be in a situation that that oh you're positive, but we have no beds for you, hospital beds, you stay at home. And putting your family at risk. Contract tracing is a very complex work. If we found a few people staying from the same area being positive, we will try to seal off the area and screen everyone inside. For example, Haji Pakit. So we try to seal off the whole area and screen every single population inside there until we know that there are no more positive cases, then we will we, we'll stop our contract tracing. Dari pengalaman itulah, kita pun uh, tidak bersedia, kita tak jangka yang perkara seperti COVID-19 ini boleh terjebak di hadir lagi. Jadi, RPOD takutlah. Uh, bila takut kerajaan datang dan bagi tahu maklumat, kita kerjasama. Tak kira lah. Huh? Apa bangsa, agama, kita sama-sama bersatu. Instead of asking the kampung people, few thousand of them to to go to different different clinics, uh, they are able to quickly set up the tank inside, and all this takes time. But despite all this, they are still very good. They are able to mobilize uh, not only health department themselves, but also the security, the district office, and all those within a few hours. Sarawak is very fortunate to have SDMC, which comprise of senior ministers, senior civil servants, and a lot of stakeholders inside. We have a lot of experts inside to advise the state what to do, and the state government have taken up and planned very good policy to maintain Sarawak green. Doctor dan polis pun semua jalan keluar semua ditutup untuk seorang yang ke dalam sini dijaga dengan baik, makan semua cukup dibagi. Semua ami rela. Banyak bantu jaga-jaga jalan-jalan uh, tikus uh, supaya orang tidak masuk dan tidak keluar. Uh, memang kerjaan jaga kita dengan baik. You see, in Kampung Haji Baki, they even have maternity clinic records and all the medical equipment necessary to be moved to a building behind the mosque, uh, Kampung Haji Baki, so that the, the pregnant ladies, right, no need to get exemptions, you know, to go all the way to clinic. Because they are so much Nervous juga lah sebab uh, tengah tunggu hari kan. So bila dapat tahu uh, ada klinik disediakan dekat area masjid, so itu bit lega sedikit lah. The greatest lesson from uh, the only one and the first EMCO in Kampung Haji Baki, that is all about the togetherness and also the teamwork about all the agencies and also the people in Kampung Haji Baki who work together with the agencies and last but not least for the uh, sponsors who give uh, sponsors food and supplies. I think the rakyat, you know, every single one plays a very important role in control COVID-19. From the more simple, each of everyone go grocery shopping, we wear masks, we scan my sejahtera or COVID trace of community. That is what makes us a hero in controlling COVID-19. I want to thank all of them that who contribute in their own ways. I want them to feel that you as a Sarawakian, these are extraordinary things. And our green status, right, our zero cases is because of you, not because of few people only. Often people ask me, uh, what are the New Year's wishes? I learned from Adinan about New Year's wishes because on the 31st December 2016, about two hours before midnight, I was in hotel with him in Melbourne and I asked Tang Sri I said what in a few hours time there is a new year what 
It's your wishes for New Year's. He looked at me, he said, none. Then I asked him, surely you have one. Then he said, longevity. Then truly enough, 11 days later, he passed away. I share this story is to sh so that everybody can be like Adinan, knows the priority. For me, for 2021 is everybody safe, healthy, and alive. We all that, then I hope that uh, all the Sarawakians, uh, we can remain united to pursue our Sarawak dreams. Our Sarawak dreams in the next, uh, by 2023, 2023 to 2025, I want Sarawak to be prosperous and strong. Fu Yu Gen Chan Ta Fu Chan. This is the end of the year. We want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a happy 2021. And uh, the most important is uh, stay safe.